Well, hi, Kelsey. Yeah, I love Waconia. I'll just start there. You know, the town is charming. The people are great. And there is a ton of stuff to do, including visiting a couple of wineries. We spent some time and kind of reflected on our day here in Waconia at the Schramm Vineyards. On the edge of town, the grapes are growing and the wine is flowing. Frontenac is also one of the biggest grapes that the University of Minnesota has developed as well. I didn't know that the U grew grapes. They do. Yeah, they actually have a massive, well, they have I've a heard massive of the And with every sip, video journalist Melissa Martz and I are taking in our long day in Waconia, a city full of stories. Even the restaurants hold a history that makes it all a bit tastier. Yeah, it was. It was a bait shop, a boathouse uh, over here, um, and then you know more of a dining facility on on that side. Lola's on the lake with an interior that takes you to the east coast and an exterior that brings you right back. There he goes. After eating, we had more fun around Main Street. Great shopping, great people, full of tall tales that take you back decades. <laughs> Lake Town Home and Garden is an old hardware store, but if you dig a little more, you'll find Waconia history is deeper than you could have ever imagined. We just learned about some underground tunnels. They're boarded off, but it's like this block. Yeah. Where you can go and go from that bar to over here. And yeah. But that's gangsters where there was tunnels so they can bring all their money makers. Further down the road, we got a really good scoop. An old jewelry store where the ice cream is now the real gem. Long story short, we thought this would be a great spot for ice cream. Who doesn't love ice cream, yeah. right? Exactly. Back at Shram, we're still soaking it all in. Light. Very light. The friendly people, the fantastic food, the great shopping, the history, and of course, the wine. The kind you drink. And when the kind out. I have really to listen to. This isn't that hot, but when it's really hot out, this would be the wine to drink. This is hot. I mean, the not, sun is right. No, it's not hot. It's like 80 degrees. It's not hot. And of course, it is even warmer today, so I'm hearing all about it. But if nothing else, this town puts her and everybody else in a good mood. We have a lot more coming up. We actually got out on Lake Waconia. We got out to Coney Island. It was awesome. We're going to bring you that story coming up tonight at 6.